welcome back to another video today i'll be showing you how to change your device status on samsung devices from custom to official this happens when your device has either been rooted or you have made changes to the system particularly if you have a custom connect so if you go over to settings about device and you go over to status you'd see that the device status is custom so just so you can see it clear, you can see device status custom. So it's very simple to change this. So let's set the device aside. So today we'll be using our PC to do this. So you go over to your web browser and go to desktop.firmware.mobi. Okay, now on there you will put in your device model. And after doing so, you click submit. So after submitting, you would select the Android version that your device is on. So in my case, I'm on 107.1 and uh, you go all the way down where you see download and select boot plus recovery images. So select .md5 option and the new page will open and allow it to download. So you can see immediately the download has begun. now you can see that the download is complete so we're going to now get started so i copied the file into a special folder which is not necessary but i just did it for the sake of this video so now what we're going to do is power off the device and we boot into download mode so into in order to do this you need odin installed so i'll have the links to odin in the description so you see i'm opening odin right now so i'm going to minimize so the device is off now in order to boot into download you press power volume down and home buttons all together okay and you can see this message so we just press volume up and also you can notice up here that the status is also custom so now what we're going to do is we're going to open Odin and connect our device okay so you can see here that the device is connected if you can tell by this over here now if it doesn't work for you i have a video on addressing some of the issues that odin have so you can also check that in the description so click on ap and locate the file so it, in your case it will be in downloads now I made a special folder so I'm going into that folder to find the file and I'm going to select it. Now that we have selected the file we're going to flash. So I'm going to now click start. Okay so it's installing the boot and recovery images. Now the device is rebooting. So you can now disconnect. And after this, we won't be needed our PC again. This was just the only thing that we had to be done. So let's just await the boot up. Okay, so boot up is now complete, so let me just enter my password. Okay, so go over to settings. So let's go into settings just to ensure that. So you go down to about device, go to status, and now you can see device status official. Okay, so I'll end the video here. Thank you very much for watching guys and if you like the video share it with others and hit that thumbs up and most importantly remember to subscribe to Pops Productions Tech and I will see you in another video.